Hi, this is Ron McTube. Today on the Hunter Call of the Wild, I'm here at Medved Tiger, but we're here to talk about the next map. There's been a lot of hints. Jackson Beard did a live stream, and we'll go over the hints in a minute, but it looks like we could possibly be going to Australia, which is one of the favourite map choices of a lot of people in the Hunter Call of the Wild community. Now, let's go with some of these current hints while I do a bit of moose hunting. Now, the current hints... He started this stream upside down, so a lot of people instantly thought that was a clue. And Jaxie does like to tease. Sometimes he lets things slip. I don't know if he does it on purpose or if it's not on purpose, but he likes to have fun with it. But Jaxie said it's not in North America or Africa. Now, Africa 2.0 would be right up there with Australia. So they're two kind of favourites of what map could be next. But Jaxie did say it's not in North America or Africa. New unidentified music track that involves a guitar. I don't know where that could be. Some people said it's an Australian song. I don't know. I don't know Australian songs. So if you're from there, you'll have to let me know about that in the comments. Where do you think it's going to be? Let me know in the comments. Jaxie stated it's technically not a reserve, which is interesting. Meaning it's kind of like Mississippi, where it's not a designated reserve, but a region with a whole lot of wild animals. When I looked at Australia's hunted animals, I googled it to see what they mainly hunt. The country has a number of huntable native species, including kangaroos and dingo. But most of its big game is non-native and can be hunted at any time of the year. The biggest draws are water buffalo, Bantang, feral boar, and a host of deer species, including samba, hog deer, red deer, fallow deer, and rooster deer. The hardest animal to hunt, apparently, is samba deer. Now, on the Hunter Classic, a lot of those species are in there. Um, and like I say, the samba is pretty tricky as well, so it would make for a really interesting map. It'd be like sort of like the Hunter Classic with uh, Bush Rangers Run, maybe and pick a bean base sort of combined that's going off basically if they do like the hunter classic route it's going to be very interesting to see what the next stream brings each tuesday on the expansive world's live streams they're on twitch and youtube make sure you watch them because that's where you normally learn about things first um i can't wait to see what's next and what he's going to tease a lot of people are speculating that there could be a new great one now we had the bison rework not long ago we had the new trophy man as well the furs look excellent a lot of people think bison could be the next great one it's normally indicated and jaxi has said this by the base game basically so you've got the two maps you've got Leighton, you've got hirschfeld and, and those animals and if you think about it there's not that many animals right it could be if it is bison there's only really european bison there's only like hirschfeld and right so maybe that would be a new map to do with bison so somewhere like poland i don't know but uh, i'm sure we'll find out soon i look forward to whatever it is now this is a level five but look at those palms they're not very thick and that's got small hands on the front one smaller than the other i think this is going to be a troll but let's have a look uh, let's turn this setting off because i'm just going to take a little uh, thumbnail of it maybe the thumbnail for the video it is a nice looking moose but those paddles aren't the biggest and those hands normally when you got the big hands and they're both sort of similar size big paddles you know it's a diamond but uh, those look a bit skinny I think this is a troll yeah thought so. so I've had so many trolls it's unreal I've been trying to find out which is the best moose map right for me to hunt on Medved, they, they tend to turn up late or not at all to zones. So I don't really enjoy hunting Medved. Even though I've been grinding on here, I've had about five or six diamonds. I've got about four or five diamonds stacked on here. And um, I just don't really enjoy hunting moose here. I enjoy hunting other animals here, but not moose really, because they're always late to zones. New England Mountains. I've got five diamonds stacked on there. The rivers kind of make it awkward to hunt on there so 
I've been trying revving to the coast as I've been saying in my last video when I got the super rear willow ptarmigan I couldn't believe that was amazing but I'm having lots of fun there with moose and I think that actually might be the best moose map now I should have started there straight away <laughs> I really should have so we've got number five here it looks like a good one I never really used to use the 300 much but I'm starting to really love it I've got it dialed in I can get the heart shots pretty nice of it and what I do is I have the 300 in one slot and the 338 in the other and then what I do is I make sure they're both reloaded and then when we've got multiple mooses I'll shoot one of the moose with a 300 and then I swap straight away to the 338 and then shoot with that if one's running and that works out better than trying to reload one of the other guns so that's what I kind of do it works well but Revan Tule Coast is doing really well. I've been on there about four days. I've already got five diamond moose stacked. Um, and the route is just so good. The moose are turning up on time. Like I said, if you're struggling with moose, try Revan Tule Coast. I'll make a video about this and the guide and how I'm grinding it. But it is really good. And uh, it's a bit of an underappreciated gem, really. The map is so diverse. There's so many different species. You've got lots of bird species as well. So now I'm carrying like the shotgun, I'm carrying my rifles, I'm doing all kinds of hunting, um, somewhat I wouldn't normally do. So I'm really enjoying it. It's a bit of difference and uh, it's a lot of fun. Right, is this one going to troll? Yeah, I can't wait till this Tuesday come in to see what's on the live expansive world stream with Jaxie Beard. I'm sure we'll get some more teas or some more hints to what's coming. We've got a new channel in the Hunter official Discord. Check that out for new content. A lot of people in there spitballing ideas, what it may be, trying to work out what clues we've got to where we're going next. It's always good this time of year because everyone's always diving in, trying to work out what is next. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Can't wait. There'll probably be a content creators weekend just before it comes out as well. So a lot of the content creators uh, who make content for the Hunter Call of Wild will probably get early access. That's normally how it works out and show you lots of footage. So I'm looking forward to that. Now they're a lot bigger paddles. Yep, yeah, I thought so. You could tell its paddles were a lot bigger. I'm so glad he didn't troll. Level 5 moose do troll quite a bit. So we've had two level 5s. One made diamonds. So we've had a great day grinding on Med Red Tiger. We've been talking about whether Australia is their next map for the Hunter Call of Wild. Let me know in the comments what you think. Remember on Tuesdays to watch the live streams on YouTube and Twitch for the Hunter Call of Wild, the official channel. I'm Ron McTube. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.